but I just got back in on a run. You did, just now? Yeah, I did the I did the two miles, two point twenty three. Oh wow! And my heart was so heavy. Oh, man. just about the the state of I our know. dealings with one another. It, it is. It's really tragic. And I can't believe it's, it's still happening. And it is. And I know that you talk to a, a person of color and they say, well, of course it's still happening. But we like to think that, ah, that's, that we're done with that, but we're not. Hollywood game night host Jane Lynch was incensed by the tragic shooting of Ahmad. And uh, they weren't immediately arrested. Why weren't they immediately arrested? As a family, we walked in the name of justice, in the name of his birthday, and we're sending blessings to his family. Happy birthday, Ahmad. Like many, Oprah believes that it's because the public saw the video of Arbery being shot that arrests were made. We love you and we got your back. Chris Tucker and his son also ran in support of Ahmad, and so did Alicia Keys, husband Swiss Beats, and their family. And in honor of Ahmad, we are going to do the, we are going to run with Ahmad. Alicia also joined Jay-Z and Moore, releasing this open letter Sunday to Georgia state officials demanding swift justice. The letter said in part, to even think about breaking this cycle, we need you to protect the process and preserve the fairness of the trial. Can we all just take a breath right now? These are tough times that we're dealing with. Uh, this is a tough case. On CNN, Don Lemon needed to take a moment while reporting on the story. A young man is dead. His death was captured on videotape. A mother is grieving, a family is grieving, an entire world is grieving. Civil rights attorney Ariva Martin weighs in. Yeah, I think one of the things that's going to be interesting and we should watch for is to see if the Department of Justice will consider charges against the McMichaels under federal hate crime statutes. And the federal hate crime laws carries uh, both life imprisonment as well as the death penalty. So whether this is prosecuted solely on the basis of state law or if it becomes a federal hate crime law, uh, the potential is there for both life in prison and the death penalty.